What's good YouTube? You're tuned in to the Infamous World Network and it's your host Infamous Jerez. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Also while you're at it, make sure to like the video and to finesse the bell so you can get a notification every time the kid uploads a new video to YouTube. Now if that out the way gang, if you're into Instagram, you can catch me on Instagram at underscore Infamous World Network. On my Instagram, I post daily sneaker stories. I post clips and trailers to my YouTube videos and I also post reels as well so you can catch me on Instagram and with that out the way gang let's do what we do best and let's talk kicks I got a brand new pair of shoes on my hands today I can't wait to show y'all let's get right into it before I show you the shoes let's give you a little backstory these shoes came out December 11th 2021 for a retail price of $225 that shoe is none other than the Air Jordan 11 in the cool gray colorway bada bing bada boom kids we got the Air Jordan 11. First thing that pops off about this shoe, holding it in hand finally, is just the absolute beauty of this shoe. I mean, you know, it's the Cool Gray 11. This is one of my favorite Air Jordans. I still have my 2010 pair. That just goes to show how much I love this shoe. Like I loved it when I was a kid and now I love it as a young adult. And this shoe is just amazing. I'm really happy Jordan Brand bought, brought this shoe back. This 2021 release is the first time the shoes came out since 2010. So it's been 11 years. Let's get right into the shoe, why don't we? Starting with the outsole. We have this beautiful icy blue translucent outsole with two gray traction pad hits and you have a Jordan Jumpman in white underneath that. The shoe also has the carbon fiber here, but this carbon fiber is not what it used to be on the 2010 pair. I really do not like this carbon fiber. At least it looks like the old one, but it doesn't feel like it. Then getting to the midsole, you have the foamy white midsole all around, which is classic Air Jordan 11. Then coming more onto the upper, you have the gray in the darker gray patent leather. Then once you get past the patent leather, we have the gray suede that wraps all around the ankle and the laces and the aglets. The shoe also has these white rope laces that are beautiful, very classic. You have the Air Jordan with the with the white Jumpman on the tongue as well. The tongue has no Jordan branding, which is classic on Air Jordan 11s. People that don't like the 11s don't like that it has nothing on the tongue. That is something that's unique to the 11s, it has nothing on the tongue. The tongue is completely suede or nubuck, just like the rest of the upper. Coming to the ankle of the shoe, you have a gray Jumpman stitched and then on the very back of the ankle you have a 23 hit in white now once you get to the sock liner of the shoe you have a gray sock liner not the most quality sock liner but it's all right we have a gray sock liner with a gray insole with a white Jordan hit fill in this shoe and really get into digest it I can see that they made a million pairs of this shoe I really would love to do the research to see how many of the 2010 pairs they made but fill in my 2010 10 pair and fill in this pair the 2010 pair feels better I do enjoy how this has the higher cut of the patent leather and I enjoy that it's darker but like the suede's on the upper don't feel as good and I really don't like how the suede on the ankle is different from the suede that's here by the lace the laces it changes and I, I don't like that too much but besides that everything else would just be nitpicking this shoe for the look of the shoe they killed it and I love this shoe like it's just so so amazing like just look at this like busting this shoe out when it's crispy and clean is just always a vibe to me I'm a big fan of gray shoes and I'm a big fan of the Air Jordan 11 I would say gang if you want to buy these shoes hop on it right now the average resale price of this shoe is only $240 so that's really good because the shoe came out for $225 so if you want this shoe get on it now because months from now getting a dead stock pair people are gonna want more money so get this shoe now while you can the shoe is amazing you can wear this with so much stuff it's so flexible this is just such a great shoe uh, you know I ended up buying my nephew a pair of these for his first ever pair of Jordans ever so you know it just goes to show that the shoe's amazing and I think this is great for any collection it's great to start your collection it's great to end your collection it's just an iconic shoe I think everybody should have a pair of these personally in my opinion I give this shoe a 9 out of 10 this shoe is just amazing I, I don't know what else to say let me know in the comment box what's your thoughts on this shoe gang do you think this shoe's a 9 out of 10 do you think it's a 10 out of 10 or do you think it belongs out back in the trash can. This is your host, the infamous Jerez. You're watching the infamous world network. Make sure 
to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and also make sure to drop a like and before you leave make sure to drop a comment and let me know your thoughts on the shoe let me know your thoughts on the videos or just say what's up to the kid i'm always in the comment box i really appreciate that and with that being said gang we'll catch you on the next episode peace What's good YouTube? You're tuning in to the Infamous World Network and it's your host, the Infamous Jerez. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and also make sure to like the video. That goes a long way for the kid. Also, 